Hello, I'm Ro Crosby from Taro. This is the seventh in our series of nine videos. Now that our model is completely built out, we're going to examine how good we are at self-appraisal. As you reflect on our model, do you find that most activities you engage in fall comfortably in the self-awareness and well-founded confidence zone? Or does your self-appraisal reveal some red flags? Could you be wrong? Are you a good driver? Nearly three quarters of us consider ourselves better than average drivers, which is a mathematical impossibility. This is further confounded by the fact that more than 90% of crashes involve human errors. This example of illusory superiority may be the single most important reason why autonomous vehicles are slow to gain acceptance. This may also be an underlying reason why diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives have failed to gain traction on a large scale despite decades of dedicated efforts by massive numbers of people and despite facts and data that clearly provide evidence of widespread systemic discrimination. In the same way large numbers of people overestimate their driving skills, large numbers of people also overestimate how they treat others. Seeing ourselves as respectful people with good intentions, many of us confidently dismiss any feedback that suggests we are treating people differently based on characteristics like race or gender. That makes us blind to evidence of the disparate impact of our behaviors. In other words, the unintended negative consequences on an individual or group escape our notice. Most diversity training will continue to focus only on superficial topics like highly visible cultural differences until we reconcile the incongruence between our self-confidence and our lack of skills around difference. Self-appraisal is indeed a challenge. In addition to skills training, at Taro, much of our time and effort is directed to challenging the mindsets, deeply held beliefs, and the biases people hold that hold them back. In business, as in life, the thing we need to master most is ourselves. If you agree it's hard to self-diagnose, how good are you at appraising others? From your perspective, what is the best way to facilitate self-appraisal and improve self-awareness? How can we catch ourselves and course correct when we drift into the red flag areas of our model. Please share your thoughts with us. Provide us with your feedback in the comment section or by private email to rcrosby at tarot.com. In the next video, we'll look at tips for bringing out the best in ourselves and others.